Introduction Fibers can be obtained from both plants and animals. Some familiar plant sources of fiber are cotton, jute and linen. Some well-known animal sources of fiber are sheep, goat, camel, alpaca and llama. If we treat insects as different from animals, then the silkworm can be classified as an insect source of fiber. In this lesson, we learn about an animal fiber, namely the wool, in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to list the characteristics of wool, describe sheep wool, list the animals that yield wool, describe the process of obtaining wool from sheep, Explain the processing of fibers into wool. Wool is a protein fiber. It is crimped and elastic. Crimp makes wool bulky and helps it retain heat. Wool absorbs moisture and sound because it is hollow. Wool is normally creamy white in color. But it can also be black, brown or silver in color. Wool is hypoallergenic. In other words, it causes fewer allergies in human beings. The main source of wool is sheep. The wool yielding animal bears a thick coat of hair on its body. The hair traps a lot of hair. Since air is a poor conductor of heat, the hair keeps the animal warm and dry, allowing it to live in cold and harsh climates. The hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fibers. The coarse beard hair and the fine soft hair close to the skin. The fine hair provides the fibers for making woolen clothes and coarse hair provides wool for making carpets. Some animals other than the sheep also produce wool. They are yak. Yak wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. Angora goat, it is found in hilly regions such as Jammu and Kashmir. The wool obtained from it is called Angora wool. Kashmiri goat, the wool obtained from it is very soft and is used in weaving fine shawls. These shawls are popular as pashmina shawls in India. Camel, the fur on the body of a camel is also used as wool. Llama and alpaca, they're found in South America and they yield wool. For the wool to be of good quality, sheep need to be fed a nutritious diet. Apart from what they get from grazing, they are fed a mixture of pulses, corn and jowar. The sheep so red develop a thick growth of hair. This hair is known as the fleece of the sheep and provides us wool. Let us study the process by which wool is obtained from sheep one step at a time. First, the fleece is removed from the body of the sheep. A machine is used for the purpose. The process of removing the fleece of the sheep from its body with the help of a machine is called shearing. Shearing does not hurt the sheep. This is because the uppermost layer of the sheep's skin is dead. Usually, hair is removed during the hot weather. This enables sheep to survive without their protective coat of hair. Then the sheared skin with hair is washed thoroughly in tanks. This exercise is undertaken to remove grease, dust and dirt. This process is called scoring. The washed hairy skin is sent to a factory where hair of different textures are separated or sorted. The small fluffy fibers called burrs are picked out from the hair. Fibers are dyed in various colors as the natural fleece of sheep and goats is black, brown or white. The fibers are straightened and rolled into yarn and finally the wool is ready to use. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. 
Wool is an animal fiber. It is obtained from sheep, goat, yak, camel, alpaca, and llama. Wool is a protein fiber. It is crimped and elastic. Removal of fleece from the body of sheep using a machine is called shearing. Washing the fleece to remove grease, dirt, and dust is called scoring.